came by my boat a few days ago. And he said, do you really live on your boat? He didn't believe it. I'm like, of course I live on my boat. See? Crazy. Hey, it's true. This guy, he really <laughs> living his fucking boat. <laughs> Believe it or not, I do live on my boat. For the moment, here in Mindelo, Cabo Verde, West Africa. I told you I would get back to what has been happening here on my boat, Galopa, before the holidays. So today, I met these two Spanish guys who are delivering a boat, a catamaran, across the Atlantic. And one dude, cool looking dude, long hair, middle aged more or less, but young looking sailor. He thought we were crazy because we went direct to Galloping. He comes up to me, hey, hey Alex. <laughs> Are you Alex? I'm like, yeah. When did voyage? I'm like, yeah. Hey, serious, I'm very glad to meet you. This is Alberto, man. How are you? Alberto said he's been following me on YouTube. and You're the only one I follow because you're real. You seem real. And he said, do you really live on your boat? I said, yeah, of course. I mean, this is my house and where I live. Yeah. He didn't believe it. I'm like, of course I live on my boat. This thing goes, yeah, because there's a lot of these YouTube channels. They pretend to live on a boat, but they go home and live in a hotel or nice accommodations and pretend to live on a boat. Yeah. Yeah. And it's true, galloping exists. Yeah. He is sleeping galloping. Yeah. It's true. Eh? Yeah. Well, you don't seem to be that way, but I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Crazy. Hey, it's true. This guy, <laughs> he really living his fucking boat. Yeah, I live on my boat, man. And he's a sailor and a YouTuber, but... Yeah. Free, he's free. He really lives in a sailboat. Absolutely. This so, surprised me, really. I thought that was really weird that people say they live on their boat but don't live on their boat. I mean, I know Mads lives on his boat. I know his deal. And I met him, you know, from sail life. But other people, they have to fake it. Man. Why? <laughs> okay, my channel's not really popular. I'm not making gazillions like some of these other guys and stuff. But I don't give a rat's ass. Man, I live on my boat. This is my life. Why fake it? Or maybe I'll have to fake something just for the fun of it, you know? I mean, <coughs> what you see on my channel is what you see. I don't tell you everything. I do have some personal things I keep to myself, and it's none of your business out there. But then again, you know, most of it, yeah, it's my real life. This is what it is, okay? So why fake it? I'm gonna go see the police, immigration police. They said they want to talk to me, so let's see if I'm in trouble. I'm getting kicked out of the uh, country, or no big deal. Uh, we'll see, I'll tell you what happens when I get out. Well, I was there on time and everything, and apparently the boss forgot to note it down. And apparently the guy, uh, boss is at the airport or something so he said he'll call me when uh, he can come when I can come and see him the reason is I have too many tourist visas That's what I thought they're probably gonna ask me why I'm not a permanent resident I'm sure I'll be able to talk myself out of that I mean I'm not, not doing anything wrong I've been doing things according to the rules and uh, I plan to uh, go off to Africa late January or so now I'm gonna go see about my uh, boom. The welder called me yesterday. He said he wanted me to come up and check it out. So if he's there, I just called and he didn't answer. Uh, we're still towards have a coffee and wait and hopefully see him. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Bon prêt. Est-ce que c'est pour faire ça? Travailler. Ça fait plus fort. Okay. Okay. Faire le four. Le. Le. Là, là, là. Okay. 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 Me va comprar parafuse faire le four. I told him to smooth out the sharp edges only. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it has to be solid. He's gonna have it done tomorrow. Finish, finish, finished. Way to go, man. I'm gonna wait a little while for everything, but patience, good attitude, you get everything you want, man. No problem. He's the best. That thing's gonna fucking hold. Like, it's not gonna bust for a long time. <laughs> Two things almost accomplished. Went to the police, but I'm gonna have to go back again. Went to see my welding job. 
ah, we're gonna have to go back again. He said tomorrow, end of the day. But now we go back to the boat. It's a nice walk. It's good for the legs, good for the body. I've been kind of lazing it around and gaining some weight. Me and Wendy have been spending too much time eating and having fun. So it's good to, to walk and get some exercise. Plus it's super nice here, man. I like this spot, it's cool. The dog's hanging out. Check him out, he's great. <laughs> See these poor street dogs? I laugh when people say, oh, these poor street dogs. I think they're the happiest dogs in the world. They're free, they can run around, and then people feed them their leftovers out in the street. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Street life is tough for some of these dogs, but man, they're dog man. Yes, this is where I live, on my boat, in Mindelo, as always. It's until I get kicked out or I move on. And it's getting busy here, man. This country, man, there's too many people here now. It's getting too popular. I better stop doing videos about this place. Yeah, so see that right there? That's my bed. That's where I live, man. You guys don't believe me? Well, you should. That is where I live. That's got a problem over there. Just because that's dead. He's moored over there with a Peter and Marlino, uh, Johnny, and other people. I think you can just see him now. Look, right over there. See him? And here's where I think he's docked. Here, Delca. Delca's restaurant there. It's actually a really good restaurant. You eat well there. It's also home to Dive Tribe. Guys, if you're diving, the diving center here. Right there. Do you see? Dive Tribe. And where my friend Koif is. Koif takes good care of me. And I'm going to introduce you to him. So, as I was telling you, this is my friend Koif. Yeah. He takes care of this place, he takes good care of me, he takes good care of all the people out here, gives us water, anything you need, you talk to Koif. Yeah. And he speaks English. Good too. Okay. Now Koif, grand ami. Grand ami, man. Oh, you were the police, I should say. Was it? You were the head chef of the airport. I should say. It's the marca. It's the marca. Aha, I'm the marca. Ma, Arlind? And now I'm back on Garapa. Yes, my house, my home, where I live every day. On this land stuff, okay? I'm a real sailing guy, real live aboard. Real sailor, and this is a real sailing channel, but it's a lifestyle channel too. It is what it is. It's a living adventure series. And it's me living on my boat, on my terms, for the most part, except when I have to go talk to the police, <laughs> immigration police. Well, we'll see what they say when they finally call me. You know what? Chances are they'll call me, then they'll get busy, then they'll forget, and they'll just come, just come and get your passport and stamp, you're fine. Another three months and you've got to move on. <laughs> I know them man, here, they're cool. Meanwhile, you know, foreigners come in, dock their weird looking boats, if that's even a boat. Eh, pretty cool inside, but I don't know. Ah, I don't want to knock it until I've seen it inside. Catamarans are pretty cool. I must admit, if I was an old man, I'd opt for a catamaran if I could afford it. But since I'm young and brandy, <laughs> I'm sticking with Galapon. Yeah! Alberto's delivering a catamaran, but he wants to have a good time here before he goes. Of course. So we're trying to organize yes. some, some of our friends. Me and Lily and Peter, maybe Wendy, we're going to go check it out a little later. 
and see what's up and then maybe have a party on their boat tomorrow. Try to have some fun with these guys. So let's see what happens later. We have the best guide in Sao Vicente. Guys, if you come to Sao Vicente, you have to come to visit Alex to Galope. Of course. They better be prepared. <laughs> watching these are our studios on Gadapon you know it's the good people on patreon who are making this happen and keep it as a float hope you'll join our community we've got a lot of cool extra perks like live updates news photos videos that I've taken and I've even taken a stab at writing some short stories which are not for general audiences on YouTube plus our friend and patron Graham started a whatsapp chat aptly called Gadapon's cocktail there we can talk about about anything we want, uncensored. People from all over have joined. And it's this community that's contributing to this Living Adventure series. Woo, it's kind of windy here. Or you can watch for free on YouTube, but make sure you put a like or dislike, or make a comment and make your voice heard and definitely subscribe. So thanks for coming along and sailing with us on our winded voyage.